So we have a giant TCL Advanced SL0 and we're running the Zip 202s and we've got a 30 mil. Whoa. Challenge Eroica 30 mil 260 TPI. TPI means threads per inch. It's so a 700 by 30, so 30 is the width. So it's a fat tire. 100 to 130 pressure, PSI pounds per square inch. PPS stands for, I don't have a fucking clue. And the other one is handmade. These are a silky, sheer tire, very sensual tire. And do they fit? Clearance in there, look at that. Oh, plenty, ample. Ample clearance in there, not a worry. Let's check out the rear. Let's check out the rear, what we've got in the back there. Oh, this on the back, we've got plenty of clearance on the, on the seat stays. Seat stays clearance. Let's check out the chain stays. Look at that. Clearance for days. Whoa, chain slip. Now we're good to go. Let's just spin it up. That 202 free hub body, that's humming like your mum was last night. And that's good clearance. That is good clearance. Look at that. Not a worry. And the comfort wise, I mean, this, that defuse seat post works a treat. Uh, Defy is my favorite endurance bike. This also doesn't feel like an endurance bike in that it is fucking crisp. When you want to put the watts down, drop some watt bombs, it'll launch. No worries. So lightweight bike. You don't, you don't want to eat meat pies and iced coffee because they make you fat. Oh, sorry. But uh, oh. Freely's <laughs> in the background here. There you go, giant. Defy Advanced SL. She's really giving a strip, sheet, strip show. We can't put it on the camera though. There you go. Any questions about the Giant? Let me know down below. So I've got two of them. I've got a large. I've got the ML. So I'm just playing with stem length. This one, that's why it's, this one's out of action. But the, whenever you hang your bike, make sure you hang it so you don't stretch out your cables or anything like that. And just disconnect them even, oh, even better. I've got Cannondale. I've got Trek. I've got Bamboo. Two Cannondales. I've got a few Giants behind me as well. Got some specialized outside. Everyone makes good bikes, but uh, when it comes to the endurance bike, in my opinion, the best endurance bike on the market at the moment is the Giant, Giant Defy series. The geometry is really good, the clearance is awesome. Obviously, whatever bikes, the best bike is the one you're fucking riding now. But if you're in the market and you're into a long epic rides, then the Defy's, man, pff, fucking really hard to beat. This is the Giant Defy Advance SL0. It almost could be called the slow, but it's not slow, it's very fast. About 8,000 quid if you're in the UK. Uh, got the bicycle Edler's Choice 2015. But again, these reviews don't really mean too much because you're not too sure who's getting kickbacks. But uh, which is fair enough as an industry, but they are definitely good bikes. Uh, the female equivalent is called the Avail. The Avail. So the Defy is more for your taller rider. The Avail is same bike, same sort of similar geometry, more upright. And uh, that is the women's version of the Defy. So the Liv is the giant one. So this is a female version of the Defy, which is another good bike, the Avail. So sim same deal, pretty much. There you go. That's, uh, that's the bike there. Not a bad little rig. But uh, a lot of endurance bikes are a bit more sort of uh, sloppy. But the giant Defy, man, it just feels race fucking ready. But also a bit more of a higher stack height, higher higher head tube which means you sort of sit a bit more upright a bit less stress on the back I've got pretty good flexibility but I just prefer a more upright position more like Lance Armstrong Chris Horner style uh, distance between your tip of your saddle and that line there it's basically your saddle to bar height drops not that much on Defy compared to other bikes like a Propel TCR etc obviously you can slam your stem and put it up whatever's but the Defy is just a bike built for long long epic shit Everesting etc I might have to change up the gears if I'm going to do some Everesting. Any questions about any bikes? So let us know down below. And what bike would you like me to review next time? Let us know. See you on the road. Cab the fuck up.